Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Previously, we spent the night at Squirrel Cove and here we are um, going back to Desolation Sound um, about six weeks after we were there last. <laughs> Desolation. Mac just took a stern line to shore and I've got it through some rollers here and I've got the rest of the bag here that I'm feeding out to him. Kind of in this tight little spot but it's a really neat little area. It's kind of just surrounded by these cool mountains and just got to be careful of these rocks. So we're doing a stern tie so we don't hit that rock and because it gets a little shallow over here. So the way we do a stern tie is just tie off. So we can see if what Max is doing. He is tying off to a tree there, his end. And then I will cinch up my end over here with a winch. Maybe one of, one of these guys, take the cover off. And then that'll get us in a nice spot so that we can not swing too much into those into that shallow bay over there or into this rock over here Princess Disco being chauffeured back to her yacht. Anchorage and all to ourselves. This is by far the thickest fog we've had all trip. It's like a blob of fog or something. Just leaving Desolation Sound and it's very foggy, but the fog is just starting to lift, the sun's breaking through the clouds. We've got the autopilot on driving for us because it is insanely hard to stay on a straight course with no reference point to steer at. We're leaving Desolation and the fog. Super thick back there. Clear skies ahead. Looks like a beautiful day. in here. Okay, flipping back over to the map view. The start of the video, we were up in Desolation Sound, and this is where we experienced that thick fog right in there. Uh, it disappeared as we kind of rounded the corner out into the, the main uh, straight here. Uh, we continued south, and we, we had met people um, uh, further north uh, earlier in the trip uh, and they were from Powell River and they told us to stop by if we were going to be in town and we were so uh, we pulled in 
to uh, this marine here, and they actually live right there. So it was real fun uh, catching up and uh, checking out Powell River. What a view you guys have. This is so cool. The only thing that bothers me is the cars. Farewell, Powell River. You've been great. You've been great. Special thanks to Rayel and Julie. They live right there. Great stuff. So fun. Thank you so much. See you next year. So we left Powell River with kind of a questionable forecast for the next few days. Um, so we made our way further south, stopping at in Ballet Bay, uh, and then continuing south. Uh, we wanted to go to Secret Cove down here, but the weather, when we were about here, the weather picked up. So we decided it was best to, to pull into Pender Harbor, uh, which provided pretty good protection. And the, the wind was supposed to start to pick up considerably over the next night. So we pulled in here and uh, dropped anchor. We're rolling back into Pender Harbor about six weeks after we were here last. Our plan was to go to Secret Cove, which is about, I don't know, five or six miles south of here. Uh, but we decided to just bag it and pull in here. That was just pretty nasty out. The seas out there were just really lumpy and just, you know, waves coming from all sorts of different directions. We're pulling for gale winds later this afternoon. So yeah, and gale winds are coming in, so we're just gonna go tuck in somewhere where you know. Four o'clock in the morning, and we are weathering the storm, this thing. It's the biggest one we've had yet. Okay, so we are leaving Pender Harbor after a night of the gale force winds all night long uh, there's a little break in the weather so we're going to try to cross the strait now we're just going to kind of poke our heads out there and see what it's all about it was blowy last night it was really stormy I'm surprised we slept pretty well though but yeah we up kept checking on the anchor every hour or so yeah we were up or... up fairly often but when we did sleep i mean i slept fairly well just which is kind of absurd because the wind was howling. But anyways, it's uh, we're going to go see. We're going to try to cross the strait today. There's supposed to be a lull kind of when we're, we're going out right now uh, before it picks up again. So we're going to try and make an attempt and we'll just see what happens. Conditions actually aren't too bad out here in the Strait of Georgia. Not so great for sailing, but kind of relaxing and knocking it out here. We've got the autopilot working here and we got a game of chess going, alternating uh, watches. I'm gonna cancel. Nanaimo is a popular anchorage for the big boys. Huge tankers. I think they're like a thousand feet each. We're back in the big city. Big city of Nanaimo. Be coming over today, right in this. Terrible. Yeah, it's nasty out. Luckily, yesterday we had a short window of like eight hours. Came over here, it was light wind. So glad we're not. Light winds. We even drug anchor this morning. We moved to the dock. Okay, that does it for this episode. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um, be sure to check back in soon as um, we're going to be covering our time spent. Uh, south of Nanaimo in the Gulf Islands and we're actually going to be going uh, into Victoria which is the biggest town we've ever 
we've ever pulled into. So uh, be sure to check that out. So thanks again, and we will see you next time. Cheers.